So hey folks, maybe you own a console one uh, from SoftTube and you, can, you own the hardware and you might be wondering whether you can actually use the hardware controller to control other channel strips. Short answer, yes, it can be done. And if you're interested in knowing how to do it, then stay tuned. So here we have our console one. And really the first thing you need to do before you start, you have to disable, uh, you have to quit the console one on-screen display. I have no clue what this thing does, but it surely screws everything up you want to do uh, in terms of MIDI controlling other things with the console. So once you did that, and I'm showing it for logic, um, I'm sure it works similarly to on other DAWs as well. So I'm opening a logic session. I've prepared one already. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I have loaded up um, a SSL 4000 channel strip from Waves Audio. And what we want to do is we want to assign uh, these two knobs on the console one um, to the um, respective buttons on the um, channel strip. So here's what we have to do. First of all, uh, we select a button or a knob dial in that term. Uh, you go to logic, you go to control surfaces and you go to learn assignment for HF gain. And that's going to open up this uh, controller assignment um, page. And I've actually created um, a little um, extra one for, um, for console one. So you see I have all my assignments here already. So basically I go ahead and I say, okay, I want to, to learn this button. And then it says no message received yet. And all you have to do now is actually to turn the button of the console one. And you see that now um, the button moves on the screen as well. Uh, it's as easy as that. Um, important thing is switch off the on-screen display of console one because that's kind of screwing everything up. Um, so we do the same. Uh, for the frequency as well, again, we click on it. It says no message received yet and we turn the dial. And it's important to turn it all the way uh, clockwise and then all the way counterclockwise uh, to really make this work. Um, same works for um, for the, the buttons as well. So <clears throat> let's let's assign the, um, the face invert button here, which is down here. So I click on it. It says again, no message received. As it so happens, there is a face invert button on the console one hardware. You press it once and now it's learned. Then you go out of learning mode and that's basically it. Um, now you can control your in this case, Waves audio channel strip using your console one hardware. And you see um, that really all works super beautifully. Um, that's basically it. Now, the cool thing is, <clears throat> believe it or not, um, if you have two different ones, um, two channel strips with different settings, um, the console one actually follows um, if you switch uh, between the channels. So even though the, the, the plugins are all closed, um, if you switch channels, you see on the console that actually um, the little light rings around uh, the dials change depending on the settings. And this is exactly something which console one never does, right? You always have to use the, the select button for the tracks. Um, here it works right out of the box. And that's with the, the Waves audio uh, SSL channel strip. I'm pretty sure it also works uh, with other channel strips. So pretty cool stuff. 
Um, I totally love it. I'm going to gonna use uh, this channel strip now to, to work on it. Now, here's one important thing. Um, <clears throat> if you have set a certain value on the dial, you might find that when you go back in again, um, that uh, the dial doesn't move. You see here, I'm, I'm using frequency and you see the kilohertz knob doesn't move. That, that's the reason because currently the dial is at a different value than the setting here. So what you do, um, you just carefully dial down or up depending on where the setting is until it basically grabs again to the parameter and then you can uh, you can change it again. So it's pretty much like a snap to parameter kind of approach. Uh, works really nice. Uh, it's, it's really cool. Um, and that's all there is to it. So um, try it out. If you have a console one hardware, <clears throat> Try it with your favorite channel strip. Um, it should work. And that's all for now. Keep on rocking.